All right, guys, today we are going to talk alcohol and macros. So I'm going to show you how, if you are tracking macros and you're trying to hit your weight loss, muscle gain, whatever your goals are, you can include alcohol and still hit your goals. So I'll show you how. So how it works is you can track alcohol into MyFitnessPal as either carbs or fats, okay? So carbs have four calories per gram. So one gram of carbohydrates, four calories. So a typical glass of wine, so five ounces of four, is going to be around 120 calories. 120 to 150, um, just depending, we'll go with 120. So all you're gonna do is if your drink is 120 calories and one gram of carbs is four, you're just gonna divide 120 by four and this one glass of wine is going to allot for 30 grams of carbs. Or if you wanna count it as fats, what you can do is divide by nine. So fats have nine calories per gram. So if you divide by nine, it's about 13.3. So you can count it as 13 grams of fats. So if you are planning on going out to dinner, you're going out on a date night and you're like, you know what? I really want a glass of wine with dinner tonight. There's nothing wrong with that. What you can do is maybe eat less carbs during the day. So if you usually, you know, put bananas on top of your oatmeal or whatever, take those out. Save those carbs for your glass of wine. Or if you eat, you wanna count them as fats and you typically eat like two eggs for breakfast, We'll switch those to egg whites and save your fats from those eggs, save them for your glass of wine. So a couple things that are really important though to consider, um, like this. So these are both five ounce pours. This glass is smaller, so it's gonna look like you have more wine in your glass. As far as this one, like, when I'm pouring myself a glass of wine at home, I'm probably not gonna stop here when I'm filling it up. So be realistic. If you're gonna have just one glass, make sure you're saving 30 carbs. If you think you might have two glasses, make sure you're allotting for those numbers. So you could do one glass is carbs, one glass is fats, whatever it is. Um, but use a food scale or like a measurement cup and measure out your glass of wine. Um, another important thing to consider is one, when you're drinking, are you going to be able to stop at the amount you've allotted for yourself? So like, okay, I've allotted one glass of wine for dinner. Will I get to dinner and I finish that glass and I decide I want another one? You know, you, are you gonna be able to have that self-control to say no? Other things, are you, when you drink, are you going to lose your inhibitions and, you know, get drunchies and want to eat dessert or want to eat pizza later or whatever it is? So think that through before you decide to drink, you know, am I going to be able to include it and stay on top of my goals? Other things, you know, are you drinking out of enjoyment or out of peer pressure or are you gonna feel sick the next morning? And are you gonna be too hungover to get your morning workout in? Those are all things that you should consider before adding alcohol into your diet, but I understand it's life. I'm Italian, I come from a big Italian family. I love red wine. So I um, can use this to help me stay on track, stay on my goals while I'm you know, also drinking and enjoying myself. That being said, we are going to whip up a cocktail, a low calorie, just fun cocktail recipe for you guys. One of my favorite drinks is a Cosmo. So what I found is these skinny mixes, they're called Jordan's skinny mixes. They have like coffee ones. They have ones for alcohol too. So they have an actual Cosmo flavor. If you don't have this or you know you don't wanna order it, you can use a low calorie like sugar-free cranberry juice and orange juice and those will do the trick as well. But we're gonna use this. So we're gonna do one part vodka, two parts of the skinny mix. 
either Tito's or what I'm gonna use is these zero sugar infusions from Smirnoff. These are delicious. They're awesome for like vodka sodas because they have a little bit of flavor without any added sugar. They also, this one's strawberry and rose. They also have like a cucumber and grapefruit ones. So these are really good. We're gonna mix it into a blender bottle because it seems fitting. <laughs> one part vodka, two parts of our skinny mix here. Throw in a few ice cubes. Give it a All right. Pour into our glass here. And give it a fancy little lime garnish. And there you have a skinny Cosmo that you can track into your macros, enjoy a drink with your girls, still be able to hit your goals. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please share it if you found it helpful. And cheers.